Hi everyone and welcome again to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Lots of you guys have been requesting from me to make either a dog or a cat cake, some type of animal cake really. So today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little kitty cake. It's really a simple cake to make and you can always adjust the colours to suit your own little kitty cat. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. I've got here an 8 inch chocolate cake and you can get the recipe for my chocolate cake in the description box below. I've divided it in half and what I'm going to do is cut out four round circles using a big round cookie cutter. And with the excess cake I'm just going to break it up into a bowl and reserve it for a little bit later when I'm going to use it again. I'm going to stack the cakes now using a layer of ganache in between each of the cakes. And with my third little round circle I'm just going to trim off the top to make it nice and flat and finish off with the fourth layer of cake. Now that I've got my little tower of cakes what I need to do is round off the top cake because this is the part that's going to be the top of the kitten's head. The next part of the cake that I need to carve is about halfway down and I need to cut into the cake to kind of cut out a bit of a wedge so it forms the bottom of the head of the kitten as well as the top of the body. Because I really want to emphasise the kitten's head and make it really adorable and cute, I need to keep the head nice and big. And the last little bit of carving I need to make is at the front of the cake I need to cut out a little bit of a V section and this is to create the front two paws. Now I'm going to place my cake to a side while I break down my excess cake crumbs. So what I need to do is break it all up with a fork. And then I'm going to add some of my chocolate ganache to this cake crumbs and mix it until I've got a nice gooey mixture. You'll know when it's ready because it should all come together and the ganache will make the cake crumbs nice and shiny and sticky and it should hold itself together when you lift it up with the fork. This next part is a little bit sticky so the best thing to do is to wear a pair of disposable kitchen gloves and taking a small amount of this cake and ganache mixture going to mould it in my hand into a little bit of a sausage and then I'm going to stick it onto the side of the cake to create the back legs of the kitten. Because the mixture is quite sticky it's just going to simply stick to the cake but not to my gloves. It's just a matter of shaping the legs, making one on either side and then again taking two balls of the mixture making sure they're roughly the same size I'm going to create the ears on top of the cake forming a nice triangular shape now I've turned the cake around and I'm going to create the tail and again I'm just going to roll out a bit of a sausage and stick it to the back of the cake and give it a nice curl Now all I need to do is cover the entire cake with my chocolate ganache, making sure the cake is entirely covered with ganache getting into all the little grooves. You can see here from this side view that I've actually built up a little bit of a point for the front of the kitten's nose, just using a little bit of extra ganache. Now that the cake is covered in ganache, I've got another disposable glove on and a little bit of warm water and a paper towel and what I'm going to do is dip my fingers into the water dab off any excess water and rub over the ganache to create a nice smooth surface it's a lot easier to do this with the glove on rather than using a spatula because there are so many little grooves in this cake that I need to get into and really the only way to do it is by using my hand Once I'm finished smoothing the cake I need to pop it in the fridge for at least about half an hour until everything is nice and set. Once I remove the cake from the fridge the ganache and the cake is firm to the touch and I'm just going to transfer it onto my cake board. 
Now I've got here some grey fondant which I've rolled out to about 2 to 3 millimetres thick and before I put it over the top of the cake I'm just going to brush the cake with a little bit of water using a pastry brush just to help the fondant stick nicely to the cake. Then it's just a matter of gently draping the fondant over the top of the entire cake and slowly working from the top down to smooth the fondant into all of the grooves, opening it out as I go and smoothing down right to the bottom. Make sure to press into all the crevices, especially around the neck and the feet. And trim off any of the excess fondant. I find that using a little wooden tool such as this one helps to gently press the fondant right into the bottom of the cake. Now using the back of either a paintbrush or a wooden tool or even the other end of the knife blade, make sure to go back and press between all of the edges in the cake. Make sure you turn it around and also do the back of the legs as well as the tail. Using a little bit of a sharp point, you could even use a toothpick for this. Mark in the claws of the kitty and then either using your finger or in my case I'm using the back of my X-Acto blade I'm going to indent two holes for the eyes. Now's the fun part and we can start adding a little bit of colour to this little kitty cat. I'm starting off with a little bit of black for the background of the eyes and I've chosen to make a light blue coloured eye. You can choose green or brown or whatever you feel like. Just add that over the black as well as a black pupil and a little dot for the reflection in the eyes. Using a little bit of light pink I'm going to create a little triangular nose and put the little triangles for the pinks of her ears. Now using a wooden tool I'm just going to press in the edges of the pink fondant in the ears just to make them set back a little bit and also press in some eyebrows and also use my little round cutter to create her little mouth. You might like to also poke a little piece of pink fondant right in the centre for a cheeky little tongue. Adding the last few details is quite easy using a black edible marker to draw in some cute little eyelashes as well as filling in the lines for the claws. I've also rolled some very thin pieces of black fondant to fill into the eyebrows and frame her ears. This next part is optional but I've decided to mark my fondant with my wooden tool just to create a little bit of texture. You don't really have to do it but it just adds yet another dimension to the cake. And finally I'm putting the collar on my little kitty. And of course, what kitty wouldn't be complete without their little bell? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of my cute little kitty cake. If you're a beginner, this is not too hard a cake for you to try and make at home. Don't forget, if you enjoyed it, do give it a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you see all my creative cake tutorials as I release them. I love hearing from you guys, so don't forget to drop me a line in the comment section below. You could also connect with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram or Twitter if you like. If you've recreated any of my cakes, be sure to send me a picture on any of these social media. Be sure to check out last week's tutorial. I hope you tune in next time. And as always, thanks for watching.